hello guys so today was day five out of six of me shadowing the doctor and actually today i got a lot more intel so when i went to the radiology department and i was there to print out um an x-ray for my doctor so the radiologist saw the name and was like oh you're attached to this doctor we call it dr x and she's like oh People have been complaining about her. I don't know how you deal with her, the staff, the patients, the nurses. And again, I think there's a there's a lesson there to say if someone who is rude to everyone, if they are nice to you, it doesn't change their character. That's just who they are. They're just being nice to you. Obviously, because of how I came across and how helpful I was, she's nice. In one of our consultations, this patient came in. So my doctor's voice is very loud. Like not loud, but it seems like she's scolding you when she's asking you, so how can I help you today? That's how she asks. She doesn't say, oh, so how can I help you today, ma'am? And you tell her, oh no, I have pain in my in my, my knees. She's like, and then? So she doesn't, and then the patient is confused. So when she asks, and then, she's usually asking, oh, if especially if you say, oh, sometimes I have pain in my knees. And then she's like, and then? And then the patient will be confused. Like, I don't understand what you mean by that. What she's trying to get at is that sometimes everyone gets pain. Why did you come here? Why was it significant for you to, why did it make you come to the hospital? But the way she's asking it and her voice, it comes off as rude, but I'm used to how she talks. Because then you will be like, okay, so why was it so bad that it made you come today? right that's the type of questions you would ask the, so that patient was like are you annoyed with me and i was like why would i be annoyed with you ma'am this how she, why would i be annoyed with you i don't even know you she's like no it's because of how you're coming across it seems as if you are cross with me like I, I did something wrong and i'm just here to get help so that's how she is i think that's her reputation as well when she speaks to people the radiologist actually saw her reaction when she found out she was attached to me she was like again so i didn't see that part because she left the room that i was in because we had to wait as students to be assigned to doctors so apparently when she walked out, the radiologist actually saw her, she was like, so. so what you always need to find out is what is stressing the patient. So apparently our patient, my patient was is a domestic worker. So she's had this painful knee since May. They've just been giving Panado. Guys, Panado does nothing for your joints. She was in excruciating pain. If you're in pain, your blood pressure is gonna shoot up. And she was stressed about it because now she couldn't function at work. And she's the breadwinner because you know, you know how it is with her husband is not supportive. So she's stressed that, oh, I can't work. I want to work, but my knees are painful. And number two, the pain. So she, she was not eating salt. So lifestyle modification, dietary advice was fine. So, I mean, that's just the importance of family medicine. Because it's important to know the disease, what the patient has, why is it not controlled. It's important to know the illness, how is it affecting the patient. Because how it affects the patient affects their medical condition and it affects how you manage them. So if you only focus on the, on the medical condition, you'll miss the cause. And she kept coming back for uncontrolled hypertension. And they were like, but you are, ma'am, you are literally, like, we've changed your regimen. Surely there, there's something. And they didn't obviously ask or inquire about it. She was so grateful. She, at some point, our doctor went to the bathroom, Dr. X. So I was left with her asking a few questions and all of that. And oh my God, she cried. She was like, no man, thank you so much. May God bless you. Um, you're so young. Your mom really raised you well. You made me feel I'm seen. And I think to me, those are the beautiful moments in medicine. It's one of those things that make doing medicine worthwhile, um, you know, because she was like, you're so young, but you're taking care of us. Um, and she was really happy that, you know, we we saw her, not just her hypertension, and we spoke to a human. This is how medicine should be. Ah, she got emotional. I also got emotional, but I had to suck my tears and be pro professional. Um, but today was a very, very beautiful day. She's one of my highlights today. And of course, we always have those patients, Nje. <laughs> so we had this guy who had a, a basketball accident 10 years ago so had a screw in he banged his arm and when we did the x-rays we found out that the screw actually broke he was complaining of um stiffness in the morning just typical symptoms symptoms of osteoarthritis right which is what we diagnosed him as having post-traumatic osteoarthritis and then he's like oh man i see you and the doctor work very well like i'm so envious of your relationship and so we're just uh, smiling and happy and he's like and you seem young and he's looking at me at that time and he says how old are you and i'm like you i'm very old shame he's like oh you're learning from your doctor 
how old are you because he found he actually saw that i'm australian because i think my doctor asked me something and was answering and then he's like because he was 27 now you guys know my age but i'm older than him so he's he's there like okay so how old are you uh no i'm older than you then he's like no someday i just wish that i'd be examined by you you have to maintain your professionalism in that instance to say so obviously i knew that he was not being professional I then said, oh, actually, and hopefully when I examine you, you know, I'm a more knowledgeable doctor and stuff. So thank you. Thank you for you see me as a doctor one day. I just gave him context. So that's, that's literally how you deal with these patients. There's, there's, there are many different types of patients. There's this patient who's complaining about their rudeness. What's in there? I think those are the highlights. With that being said, um, as I said, I started my case presentation. I'm halfway done. Actually. 2 p.m. now and I'm so tired. I have to really finish my logbook today. I keep saying that. It, I should at least finish my logbook today and the presentation. And I think I won't nap because yesterday I tried to nap but I was too tired to nap and I ended up not napping and around 6 I had to wake up or well, not wake up just sit up and of course today there are no waterworks. Um, it was a beautiful day. Um, lots to see. We even saw mums which was interesting um, to see it in person. Something I wanted to see. Yeah so the stressful part of today is just the schoolwork part of it but being there in the clinic is so rewarding. The fact that that lady was emotional and crying over me helping and doing and studying what i'm studying to help oh gosh it's those moments that make it worth it everything that we go through um so i'm really having a good day it's a it's a really nice day um you know hence i talked earlier or in the previous video about the urban flow of things you know there's some really high highs some really low lows but it's important to enjoy those little moments those little pockets of sunshine right just bask in the sun you know what i mean um with that being said i'll, I'll just yeah